welcome to the lesson 15 of the Blues and Boogie Woogie piano series here on the Steinway. And of course that was Honky Tonk Train Blues by the late great Mead Lux Lewis. We haven't talked about Mead Lux Lewis and I'd like to spend this lesson just talking about him because he's one of the greats. Remember, if there's only one fact you need to know about Boogie Woogie is that there are three great Boogie Woogie piano players of all time who you need to know. That's Pete Johnson, Albert Ammons and Mead Lux Lewis. Uh, Mead Lux Lewis was born in 1905 and he died in 1967 and he is well known for of course Honky Tonk Train Blues and it's one of the all-time great boogie woogie pieces. Uh, I want to teach you some of the rudiments of that because like Boogie Woogie Stomp, Honky Tonk Train Blues is one of the classics. So the left hand is quite interesting, I mean it's a totally original left hand. Come, come around camera. And of course the left hand is meant to imitate the sound of the train. Now I've heard some people do really, really Mickey Mouse kind of left hands of this, like this. Now that's, that's totally Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean if, if, you're a, if you can't really play, I suppose you can do that, but I don't really think it's particularly effective. It, you want to go like this. Can you see that? It, and it, <laughs> that's actually quite an athletic left hand. It reminds me of the kind of left hand of. Left hand for 10 minutes, and you do this left hand for 10 minutes. You're going to have to go to the hand doctor and get some kind of hand therapy because it really is a killer. That is the left hand to Boogie Woogie Stomp, and the right hand starts off with this famous trill. Do you want to come in? This lovely diminished. In the right hand, in the left hand, you play a D seventh. Okay. A simple D7 from the left hand, and in the right hand it's it's actually a D augmented chord, which is D, F sharp, A sharp and D, and you just trill them together. And it's kind of meant to imitate the train, so then it starts. Okay. I'll do it slowly. tricky bit. It's quite tricky. It's quite difficult playing it slow. down into another 50 lessons, you're going too fast, we can't follow it. I say the whole purpose of this channel is watch and learn, play it over and over again and see what you can pick up. Mead Lux Lewis himself often changed the choruses of Honky Tonk Train Blues, there's variations in all of them. Uh, it was first recorded in 1928 and he recorded it again I think in 1935 uh, when he was rediscovered by John Hammond, the great promoter who, if you like, started the Boogie Woogie craze by organising the Spirituals to Swing concert in 1938, it was December the 23rd, 1938, 
was where it all happened. You had Albert Ammons, Mead Lux Lewis and Pete Johnson playing at the Carnegie Hall uh, and that's when the Boogie Woogie craze started from 1938 to 45 were the, the years of Boogie Woogie and the Mead Lux Lewis was, was at the centre of it. So that's uh, Honky Tonk Train Blues. Have a listen to it and Mead Lux himself varies it so it's, it's a little bit fluid in its structure but that should give you a good idea. Uh, this is lesson number 15, so we're really rocking and rolling. Make sure you press the subscribe button, press the like button, leave me your questions and comments. I love hearing from you. And any suggestions and ideas, I really welcome your, your feedback. So this is Dr. K with Honky Tonk Train Blues and respect to Mead Lux Lewis. Oh, by the way, one more thing about Mead Lux Lewis, his boogie woogie style is he's a man of dissonance. You know what I mean by dissonance? Most boogie woogie is kind of very straight, you know, straightforward triads. Uh, Mead, Mead Lux Lewis kind of started introducing a little bit of dissonance, a little bit of these kind of jazzy, dissonant, almost modernistic type chords which distinguishes his, his playing from, from Albert Ammon. So he's kind of very, uh, uh, there's a subtle difference between the two of them. Uh, that a little bit of, of uh, cultural history and musical history there, so I'll talk to you soon. Have a practice of Boogie Woogie Stomp. This is Dr. K at the Steinway.